hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be making dinner for my family do you know what this is if you don't just come and i'll tell you <laughs> welcome again so if this is the first time you're seeing this food or you've been seeing it and you don't know what it is i'm going to teach you today so this is what we call a butternut squash so i actually thought it was a vegetable but technically it is a fruit because it has seeds and it grows in vines right it is similar to your pumpkin but it is sweeter than the pumpkin so my children have eaten this from when they were babies so they basically used to eat it as purees like i could puree it with rice and chicken or puree it with apples and it was amazing they loved it so they are older now and we have different ways of eating this so we're going to be roasting this today and just going to cut it into cubes and pop it in the oven. So I've finished peeling off the skin and I'm taking out the seeds now. When I'm done with this, I cut into cubes like the others and then it's ready for me to pop into the oven. Have you eaten this? particular item before if yes let me know your thoughts and what you think about it so we're done and i'm putting it into my pan remember to put your parchment paper if you have it makes it easier to clean to be honest then we're going to be sprinkling some garlic then we'll sprinkle some black pepper and then we'll go in with some garlic salt and yes this is enough i'm just going to add a little bit of parsley so i know that we have like some veggies going on and then i'm going to spray with olive oil and yes guys we are ready to pop this into the oven but make sure you give it a quick mix so all the ingredients go around and you drop that so now we're going to be having it with a side of meatballs and i'm going to be preparing the meatballs from scratch this is a rough meatball so i want all the items to be rough in it that was my onion i cut it into slightly bulky pieces and this is my parsley i'm going to be cutting it as well into a very very nice texture i'm going to be using ground turkey i'm getting my bowl i throw in my turkey then i go in with the onion i go in with the parsley then i get one egg and i just add this to the mixture and then i'm going to be using feta cheese and i'm just going to add this to this mixture then i'm going to mix mix till i have all the ingredients well mixed together this is what it should look like a lot of people have different techniques but this is the particular one i'm going with today i'm going to be adding my homemade breadcrumbs and then a little bit of salt that is the final torch for my meatballs so we're just gonna mix 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 guys and yes we're ready i'm just showing you how i'm going to mold them into balls i'm going to be using my palm make sure your hands are clean and you're just going to roll them into balls of any size this is it yeah so i'm going to grab my oven plates and then i'm just going to grease with some olive oil and i'm just going to add the meatballs that i already rolled into it they look so good and they're going to come out so yummy by the time the cheese melts and everything like the ingredients are just going to infuse and give an amazing taste then i get it ready get a second pan and then yes we're ready and we're going to pop into the oven you take out your butternut and you're just going to turn it over to the other side so that you make sure that the heat is getting to every corner completely pop it back this is what it's looking like hey we are almost there and i'm just going to turn my meatballs to make sure that the juice and everything is just going you get you get so we're going to be serving my husband is having 
fry the yam. I'm not supposed to teach you how to fry yam. I be. Do you want to learn how to fry yam? <laughs> but this is what the roasted butternut squash looks like. And this is what my meatballs look like. So we're ready to dish our meal. I'm going to just clean up everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and serve my first baby boy. Right, and I'll serve some butternut on the side then i'll just add some meatballs and i'm going to be adding some cucumber to have some more nutrients in the meal i'll do the same thing for nathan as well and then i'm just going to add ketchup they're eating with ketchup they like ketchup a lot then nana baby is going to be having the same meal it's going to have some butternut and exactly the same thing I gave others, but her cucumber is going to be larger because she's smaller. So she needs to hold bigger pieces so she does not choke. Butternut is very rich in a lot of nutrients, iron, vitamin C, um, so many nutrients. I think potassium, it's really good for children, yeah. So now I'm serving my baby boy and he's having his yam chips with turkey by the side. And all oh, this one is just serving me. I just like to sprinkle parsley on a lot of things. I always sprinkle parsley on almost everything. Then as somebody that cooks you have to still taste but i don't know after cooking i really don't have so much appetite but i really need to taste these meatballs and this chicken looks so good so i just serve myself with a little side of cucumbers and then some sauce and that's it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here please like subscribe and see you in my next video